hi everyone welcome to my channel i am temi banjo if it's your first time here please kindly subscribe to my youtube channel give this video a thumbs up and from the title of this video you already know you already know that i am going to be talking about the different types of weight loss methods so if that is something you're interested in make sure you keep on watching this video okay so i have a list here because i wrote a lot of them down so i'm going to be looking at this paper sometimes i'm not going to be saying it off my head because i ain't perfect anyways i'm going to start by talking about the different types of weight loss methods we have the fast types and we have the lifestyle ones obviously from the name you know what it means fast means you want to lose weight quick you want to lose weight now 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 you want to lose weight yesterday and the lifestyle one is the one that you keep up with and you know for maintenance making sure you remain trim and fit so i'm starting with the first one which is the fast method so for fast methods we have omad one meal a day and that means you eat once a day and uh, that alone is for longevity and you know boost your immune your immune system so the next one you have alternative day fasting alternative day fasting is like one day on one day off whereby you eat today tomorrow you do not eat which is hard guy <laughs> i can't do without eating in a day although i you know plan to try it sometime soon <laughs> i'll let you guys know how it goes but that is the meaning of alternative day so next we have the keto diet which is the one i always do that is the high fat low carb diet whereby you use fats to lose fat and fat is just your main source of energy then we have the intermittent fasting which is the one where you fast for 16 hours and you have an 18 hour window where you eat or you fast for 20 hours and you have a four hour window where you eat then we have the water fast which i which i have tried before and it was it was hard we have the water fast whereby you drink only water throughout the day and you can do that for about three days which will lower your insulin level and you know boost up your weight loss so that's it for the fast methods and for the lifestyle methods we have intermittent fasting so yes intermittent fasting doubles as a fast method and also a lifestyle method so we have intermittent fasting whereby you fast for certain hours and then you have open windows where you eat we have the low carb diet which is what most people do especially here in nigeria i don't know about where you are i'm in nigeria here and a lot of people do the low carb diet whereby they reduce their carbs they eat really really low carbs like their rice yam swallows and all that is really reduced and then they have more fiber more vegetables and moderate protein and just a little bit of fat very little bit of fat and then you have also the keto some people do this as a lifestyle i have known people who do this as a lifestyle especially people who have diabetes in their family history they do keto lifestyle then we have the intermittent keto whereby you do the keto diet for um, a certain period of time it could be two weeks it could be three weeks and then the following week you are off your diet not that you eat like a like a laborer but you eat moderately but you eat the things you can't have on keto diet and then the following week or some people do it maybe they take a break for like three days and then they're back on keto again for the following three weeks and then they go off again so that's the intermittent keto then the last lifestyle one we have is the low carb keto whereby you eat um, some things that you are not meant to eat on a keto diet you have almond flour you have um you have a little bit of rice just like a sprinkle of rice i've done it before it, it didn't really work for me because it was not what i was looking towards i was looking towards losing like a, a lot of weight at that point so it didn't work for me at that time so yeah I'm going to tell you i'm going to explain what these all this means and so that you'll be able to choose which one will be best for your body type and which one will be best for you to lose weight especially if you are trying and trying and trying to lose weight. for me i have found my paradise where i can confidently conveniently lose weight and i have stuck to it which is keto and i love keto so much because it just allows me to eat all the fats i've been craving in this world 
I mean, I love fat so much and you know, keto just gives me that liberty. So if you're doing any of the IF, that's any of the intermittent fasting or the alternative day fasting, you are, you are going to be sure to lose weight and lose enough of weight, especially if you want to like um, reduce your insulin level. If you have um, issues like insulin tolerance issues whereby it is not allowing you lose weight you should try intermittent fasting which will obviously help you like lower your insulin thereby using stored fats as your source of energy and when your body does that you're losing weight <laughs> you're going to lose weight okay so you should try intermittent fasting for either fast method or for the lifestyle method i know people my sister does intermittent fasting and she has been doing it for the past five years and she is <laughs> she's figure eight you you people should know her she's yeah mrs mommy and she's uh, looking all cute and nice <laughs> so we have the alternative day fasting which is also hard and it, like if you're desperate like if i was this if i heard about if i heard about alternative day fasting when i was desperate in 2019 i would have done it like with being covered i would have done alternative day fasting and if you're desperate to lose weight weight i said with weight and you want something really quick really fast you should try that out and <laughs> within two weeks you begin to see results and you'll be encouraged to maybe continue or switch to another type of diet so you can do this maybe initially just to you know start like shock your body and <laughs> then you continue that doesn't mean you eat like a laborer the days you are eating but you have to eat something low in calorie low in carbs so that your body will also you know do the work of weight loss for you so you can try that out and then switch to maybe a low carb along the line so omad here is just one meal a day this can double as a quick method and also a lifestyle me method whereby you are eating once a day and people have eating window for about two hours and they eat only that time so they have maybe just breakfast and a snack and a drink so that way they are you know satisfied they are filled with um, whatever they have for that day and Omad here is more of look <laughs> Omad is so good because I've heard it's like elongates your life normally fasting like really really elongates a human being's life there are so many researches that are dedicated to fasting and Omad stands out as one of them that helps you you know elongate your life longevity cleanse your skin and it does so many good things so you might want to try out Omad and maybe along the line if you're not too comfortable with it if you cannot turn it into a lifestyle you can switch to low carb you can switch to keto or whichever one it is so we have the keto diet which is the one I am on and enjoying and loving so keto diet is a high fat low carb diet whereby you consume a lot of fat 80% fat I mean you eat fat to lose fat <laughs> best of both worlds so that's 80% fat and you keep your carbs below 5 um, net carbs to 10 net carbs and you have moderate protein and if you want to turn this into a lifestyle I'd advise that you eat moderate protein hmm. what did i say eat moderate protein because especially if you are eating red red meat i don't eat red meat i don't eat red beef i try to moderate my processed meat um i eat fish i eat more fish i eat um pork I, and i eat chicken i eat turkey so i don't really go towards red meat not that i don't eat it at all but i eat more of the ones i just mentioned fish turkey chicken and all that so yeah if you want to turn this into a lifestyle please make sure you eat your your protein please make sure you eat your protein moderately because of some health issues and please we don't want to hear of any of that in the process of trying to you know live healthy you now um, jam another complication please just you know moderately so everything i have mentioned now it sounds to me like fasting is just like the best of both worlds both fast method and lifestyle method fasting is like the most important thing you have to control yourself you have to have self-control you have to have you know tolerance to not eating food i have built a very strong tolerance and it just you know registers in my brain once i drink water sometimes when i'm fasting you can drink water when you're fasting yes and there are some other drinks you can have when you're fasting you can have black 
coffee, no milk, no sugar, nothing. Just black coffee. You can have tea, you can have bone broth when you are fasting. And so when I drink water, when I have coffee, I'm good and I can carry on with fasting. And even if I plan to like fast for 20 hours initially, I even forget to eat. And then sometimes I even fast for 25 hours. I think that's the most I have fasted for 25 hours. So there you have it. I think from these, these ones I have mentioned now, you should be able to choose and pick which one will be perfect for you for your weight loss. And if you do try anyone, let me know let me know please be sure to follow my socials as i upload my food my recipes that i do not upload here the ones that don't make it here i obviously upload them on my instagram my instagram stories and so on and so forth so do make sure you follow my socials which i will leave in the description box below and if you made it up to this point hmm, and you haven't subscribed to this channel honey please hit that subscribe button let's become pals <laughs> let's become allies all right give this video a thumbs up please remember to give this video a thumbs up and share this to your friends and family and i will see you in my next one bye Mwah.